It's been a turbulent year for the owner of the Los Angeles Raiders. But then again, Al Davis thrives on it, especially with his Raiders on top of the AFC. But most of the turbulence at the Los Angeles Coliseum last Saturday was caused by the tailwinds of some jets that flew in from New York. Piloted by quarterback Richard Todd, the New York Jets cruised through the first half, with wide receiver Wesley Walker providing much of the offensive thrust. Walker totaled seven catches for 169 yards on the day. And this 21-yard touchdown pass, coupled with a Pat Leahy field goal, earned the visitors a 10 to nothing halftime lead. In the first half, the Jet defense shut out one of the highest scoring clubs in the NFL as cornerback Kirk Springs turned the silver and black, black and blue. Ironically, the Jets were beating Los Angeles by playing the Raiders' brand of football, winning through aggressive intimidation. Clearly, this game was not played beneath friendly skies. It wasn't until the third period that the Raiders found their way into the New York end zone. Los Angeles rookie running back Marcus Allen, number 32, was barely heard from all afternoon. But this four-yard score got the Raiders within shouting distance at 10-7. With the Raiders' running game minimized by the Jet front four, quarterback Jim Plunkett went topside to Malcolm Barnwell, number 80. Barnwell took the Plunkett pass 57 yards down the fast lane to put Los Angeles on top 14 to 10. And it was then that the Jets countered with a long gainer of their own. Again, it was Richard Todd to Wesley Walker. Walker's catch covered 45 yards to the Raiders' one-yard line and set up the Scott Durking touchdown that put the Jets back in command 17-14. Both teams committed five turnovers on the day, and each side saved their most crucial errors for the final period. Jet running back Freeman McNeil just about handed the game to the Raiders. But when Los Angeles linebacker Ted Hendricks couldn't keep his feet, his straight shot to the end zone was shut down. Jim Plunkett quickly brought the Raiders to the Jet 42, and with just under two minutes remaining, he looked for Cliff Branch over the middle. Instead, Plunkett found New York linebacker Lance Mell, and number 56 had his second interception of the final period. The Jets ran out the clock for a 17-14 win that put the Raiders in a holding pattern until next season and sent the Jets on a flight to Miami for the AFC Championship game.